Secretary-General of the Organization of African Unity, Salim Ahe, a success and has threatened more industrial action if business doesn't agree to its demands. It wants more lenient maternity leave benefits for workers and a 40-hour work week. The first legal national strike on socio-economic issues affected all industrial sectors. For the first time since the 80s, miners came out on strike in large numbers. More than 50,000 mine workers employed at Anglo-American mines heeded Kosato's call for a 24-hour strike. In Port Elizabeth and Newton Age, the motor industry ground to a halt. Nationally, 150,000 clothing workers stayed away. And there were matches in Cape Town, Pretoria and Johannesburg in support of Kosato. Kosato's General Secretary, Sam Shilawa, said if business did not resolve the dispute in Netlock within 14 days, the issue might be referred to Parliament. We are very confident that Adrian, your best chances of, an, of a segment are in Netlock, not in Parliament. In Parliament, we've got a majority from the African National Congress. Adrian Duplessis, who received a memorandum from Kusatu, said business would try to reach a compromise with the Federation. I would hope that Kusatu and business can resolve their differences over this issue in a way that is peaceful, orderly and not destructive of the economy and the growth and development of jobs in South Africa. A labor expert says this strike proves that Kusatu remains a powerful force in the country. I think these issues are very much to do with employment relations, that uh, it's possible for the labor movement to bring out uh, a large numbers of people to protest around issues. They're still actors and they're important actors still. Kosatu says if business South Africa does not change its position on unpaid maternity leave, more strikes will be organized. The National Party called on the government to cut the power of the unions. It opposes the gear in many ways. In a country, ladies and gentlemen, suffering from high levels of unemployment and low productivity, just the opposite of what Kosatu is bidding for is needed in South Africa. Kosatu says today's stay away was a success and that more industrial action is in the offing. Snooki Zigalala, SABC, Johannesburg.